So let's look at the following example in which we're going to calculate the voltage as a result of a ring of charge. So let's suppose we have a very thin ring of charge with a radius d and which has a continuous and uniform charge distributed throughout that ring. So determine the electric potential, the voltage as a result of this ring of charge at some point given by capital A. So let's look at the following diagram. So we have our ring of charge that has a quantity of charge given by lowercase q. The radius of this ring is given by lowercase d. And we want to calculate the voltage, the electric potential at point A, which is a horizontal distance x away from the center of our ring. Now, Notice by the way that we choose these points, this x is a constant and this d is a constant. So that will become important in just a moment. So we essentially want to begin by discussing the method that we're going to use to solve this example. So we essentially want to take our ring and we want to divide this ring into infinitely small sections in which each small section has the same quantity of infinitely small charge given by dq. Then we calculate at point A what the voltage is as a result of this infinitely small charge dq. And then because voltage is a scalar, to find the total voltage at point A, we simply take the sum over all these infinitely small sections of charge given by dq. So once again, the method is as follows. We can treat the ring as composed of infinitely many small sections composed of infinitely small charge given by dq. We can treat each one of these charges dq as being a point charge and that allows us to use an equation that we'll talk about in just a moment. Now, we can then find the voltage of one of these infinitely small charges given by dq at point A, and then we take the sum over all of these charges given by dq around our entire ring because voltage is a scalar and we can simply take the algebraic sum. So, Let's begin by recalling the following equation that we derived in the previous lecture. So we said that the voltage as a result of a single stationary point charge is equal to the quantity of charge divided by 4 pi times epsilon naught multiplied by the distance r between that point charge and the point where we're examining that voltage. Now in this case, because we're dealing with an infinitely small charge dq, a distance r away, that means our voltage at point A as a result of this small quantity of charge will also be infinitely small. And it's given by the following equation. So once again, we're treating this small quantity of charge as being a point charge. So that means the quantity of voltage as a result of this infinitely small charge will also be infinitely small. So dv is equal to dq divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by r, the distance between a and this quantity of charge dq. So this is the voltage due to dq. Now, because voltage is a scalar, to find the total voltage, v total, we simply take the sum, the algebraic sum. We sum up all the voltages as a result of all of these uh, dqs. So this is equivalent to saying we want to take the integral of dv where v is our voltage. Now dv is equal to this ratio so we replace dv with this ratio as shown. Now we take our constants and we move them outside of our integral. So we have 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and we take the integral of dq with respect to r. So clearly this can't take place, so we have to replace our r with a constant. So notice our x remains the same and our radius d also remains the same. Now that means by, because this is a right triangle, we could use the Pythagorean theorem and we can replace our r with d and x. 
So r squared, r squared is equal to d squared plus x squared. So that means we take the square root of both sides. We have r is equal to the square root of d squared plus x squared, where d is the radius and x is this distance. So now we replace our r with the following quantity and this becomes a constant. So we can bring it to the other side. We can bring it outside of our integral and we see that the total voltage at point A is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by the square root of d squared plus x squared. And we take the integral of dq. So if we integrate this, we see that on the top we have q, our charge, the charge on this entire region of very thin ring, and the bottom is 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by the square root of d squared plus x squared. So this gives us the voltage due to the ring thin, the thin ring of charge, a distance x away.